Martha, why are you saying her name? Martha! What's up, everybody? That Justice League trailer. Martha! Uh, I'm still I'm still optimistic about it. Aquaman looks awesome. Aquaman out of water. How's everybody doing? Good tidings. Good tidings, W. Oh, the sun like just went behind the building. Our lighting was like perfect. The sun botched it. It's all right. Rickham has yet to see a DC Universe movie. I say you might as well. You'll either like it or you'll laugh at it. Either way, Rickham, you win. You win either way. Um, oh, thanks, Dark Knight. Did uh, did y'all watch the the trailer? What did anyone? Th what did everyone think? I was into Aquaman. He looked awesome. No villain show. Absolutely. Yeah, they did not show a villain in the trailer. <laughs> Sub Simon Consonant. <laughs> yeah, I didn't eat the trailer. I'm mixed, though. I'm mixed on it. So, yeah, a little... I agree. Cyborg was a little too CGI. Good uh, good call there. Neil Dutta, 99. He looks pretty cool, though. Kind of, like... I liked, he gave off a good vibe. Because I really don't know a lot about Cyborg. CGI looks wonky. Flash looks cool. Yeah, I don't know. I think the music... Got me. I'm like so... I've hit the point of no return with like licensed music. J just... Am I wrong in thinking this chat? You're making a Justice League movie. The first ever. You have 300 million dollars at your disposal and you're picking like some Beatles cover it's unacceptable just make your own music Justice League cartoon exactly just make some original Original music for the trailer. Jeez. Why am I not feeling Ben Affleck as Batman? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, Rain Soul. I was thinking maybe, maybe it has something to do with the director, you know? Because directors are like... 20% responsible for an actor's performance, you know? I mean, they're they're definitely part of it. So, I don't know. I just want it to be good. Any hype for Ghost in the Shell? I was hyped uh, Mechanical until I saw it was PG-13. So, I don't know. Yeah, and the Batman, he's not directing the Batman anymore. Um, Deathstroke might not be in it. Like, that movie's art, like, plagued as well behind the scenes. 
who knows? It's just crazy. I feel like he's not committed, you know? what? Like, what a thing to do when you're Batman and you're making, like, Batman vs. Superman and Justice League, like, two of the highest profile movies in a long time. And you've committed to the Batman and then you're like, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to direct it anymore. So, like, you don't believe in it is what you're, the message you're sending? I don't know. Who knows? But you know, you know, at the end of the day, though, they'll get my money. They got my ticket. They've already, they've already cashed the check. They've already pre-purchased. Oh, it's like, what is that? You know, I mean, that's a whole, that's a whole other conversation. We can, we can talk so much smack on like something like that, but we'll go, we'll keep going. You could just not go to it, rend the unclean. No, no, I can't though. I don't have the willpower. I'm weak. I'm weak, Ren. I just can't. I gotta see Batman, you know? I gotta see Aquaman. I gotta see it. Because I really like... Watchmen. You know? I'm still holding out hope. Weak syndrome. <laughs> it's got me. I really enjoy Watchmen. Uh, I love it. I love that movie. Gets a bad rap. Who knows? Time will tell if Dress League's good. You're right, B-Boy. Sucker Punch was the turning point. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Can't get worse. Logan is either the best or second best superhero movie ever. Only The Dark Knight rivals it for me. So I still like all three Nolan Batman movies more. Just because it's Batman. The Batman bias. Um, there's no logic to it. Logan is probably a better film than... Uh, hell, Logan's probably better than all the Batman The entire Batman trilogy. I just, yeah, even rises, even rises. I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. I don't even want to have that conversation because I'll get heated. I love Dark Knight Rises. I love it. So good. Uh, but, but honestly, Logan is probably the best. It probably is the best. Jackman's Intent. Love Dark Knight Rises. Love Dark Knight. Love Batman Begins. Batman Begins like might even be my favorite. Yeah, Dark Knight, you know. You know the Batman bias. That's strong. I didn't love the X-24 thing, though. Rick and Robo. The X-24... was, I think, one of the only divisive... Parts, but I just I love the whole symbolism of it obviously like killing his past like you know fighting his rage fighting his past and it looked CGI because like how the hell did they make Hugh Jackman look so young it's pretty wild Oh, W. Lucha. Spider-Man 3, greatest movie of all time. Jazz scene. <laughs> Top 10 of all time. It, it, <laughs> Skiddo, like, X-24, I, for a second I thought he was CGI. 
because Jackman looked so young. <laughs> Jess. It's so good. God, it's good. <laughs> like, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? <laughs> like who? I, I just imagine. I just imagine like. <laughs> I just imagine them filming it and being like, all right, cut. That was good. Good stuff. Yo, I gotta turn some lights on. I'll be right back, chat. I'll leave you with this. Alright, cut. We got it. That's good. That's good. It's a great scene. It's good stuff. Oh. Soldier Chief, I got heavy Watchmen feels from Logan. Any thoughts on that movie? Watch I love Watchmen. I love it so much. One of my favorites. One of my favorite superhero movies. Um, I know it's a super divisive movie. Um, you know, a lot of the... A lot of the comic book readers were against it. Um, it sucks that... You know... I, I hate when things change the source material and everyone gets all upset because I'm kind of the same way you know that like that, that is a that's a big topic is you know how true to the source material do you stay like do you follow it 100% or do you follow Jackman's intent do you go your own way um and I thought Watchmen was incredibly true to the source material and I even like the end of the movie better than the end of the comics. I thought the end of the comics or end of the end of the graphic novel was a product of its time. And I and I I just thought the movie ending made more sense with uh Yeah. I don't want to spoil anything. Dr. Manhattan hype. Super cool. Logan veered a lot from the comic center. So good. Jackman's intense. Ma Mass uh, 8088 playing the current goatee of the year, Yakuza Zero. I think I'm gonna like a run out of things to say about Yakuza because I have nine months to continue hyping it. We're going all year. Yakuza Zero, you can play Outrun in the arcades. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend. Goaty. There was a good question in there, I missed it. Uh, Spider Man Homecoming. I'm pretty hyped. 
I'm really hyped on it. I'm hyped because also it'll be the first movie back since Civil War. In a way. I know Guardians is coming, but Guardians is still like out in the cosmos somewhere. Um, this will be interesting to see where Iron Man and the Avengers and, you know, some other characters are. Whoever, like, stuck around, you know, Steve Rogers is on the run. Is Captain America going to show up? Probably not, but who knows? Looks fun. Can't pronounce Rorschach to save my life. It's Rorschach. Go for a daredevil cameo. Oh my god. Yeah, where are where are the defenders? We're in New York. That's why it's so ridiculous. These Netflix Marvel movies. How do they even say it's connected? Like, are you joking? Where's Avengers Tower? Huh? Where is, like, Iron Man or anyone when Daredevil, or when Luke Cage and what the hell's his name are, like, battling in the street? Trash. Pisses me off. Pisses me off. Like, the, the hand is going to take over New York when Avengers Tower is right there? Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, they're going to take it over. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Ugh. Clearly, Iron Man is fighting disposable CG armies. <laughs> it's so good. That's so good. Oh, it's good. Hubert, how did you like silence? Oh my god, it's time for the syndrome, Booty J. You just stepped into it. I had the most insane dream regarding silence. I was in the movie theater alone. And silence was playing. And I sat in the back corner. And then somebody came in. And started talking. So then I moved seats. And somebody started talking again. And then I moved like straight down like really close under like a tarp. There was like a big tarp in the theater. And then my friend was like there. My friend Nick was there for some reason. So I sat next to him. I was like alright Nick dude save me from all these people talking in the movie theater. So, like Nick's like yeah dude we got this so there's like a, a seat open next to him and then a guy sits down in the seat with a baby crying baby so then I, I switch seats again and the movie ends and it was a 70 minute cut of silence not Scorsese's intent and then I woke up it's the weirdest dream. So weird. No, no silence in silence. <laughs> oh. Crying baby was Jackman's intent. It was so weird. Having nightmares of people talking in the theater chat. God. <laughs> Did you dream it with the Twilight Zone theme? I wish. Oh, I wish. Oh my god, Dark Knight. Into the Badlands. The season 2 premiere was so sick. Dark Knight, dude. All I gotta say is... The Widow Hype. Your dream was so full of irony. No silence and silence. Oh, that's good. Super good. 
Into the Badlands, I recommend it. Season one is on Netflix. It's only six episodes. Catch up if you can. There's only been one episode so far of season two, so you're not behind. Um, it's a cool show. You know, it's not... It's not perfect by any means, but it's it occupies its own space because it's all it's martial arts. The widow. There was a guy with his bright cell phone on during Rogue One for like two minutes, and one guy behind him aggressively <laughs> told him to turn it off. <laughs> oh, that's good. Dunkirk check. PG-13. The hell? This one makes me more upset than Ghost in the Shell. Because Dunkirk is dealing with, like, a true war story. And, like, part of war is that it's hard, that it's difficult to watch, that it's, that it's brutal. That it's uncomfortable, you know. I look no further than Private Ryan or, or most recently Hacksaw Ridge. Like, I just don't understand the logic of PG-13 for Dunkirk. It's crazy. I'm one back on Legion. I didn't watch the newest one. But the one before that, I was talking to Rick and Robo about it. Rick, did you get a chance to watch not the newest Legion, but the one before? It kind of... It, it felt like an anime filler episode. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. Fury, brutal war movie. For sure. That was the only, like, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade at Legion at all. 10 out of 10, phenomenal. Just that one episode, you know, one episode. I was like, eh, I didn't really, didn't really feel that one. Maybe I was, maybe I was, I, I like, I watched two episodes in a row. Maybe, be, uh, maybe that was too much. I don't know. For sure. I want to I want to go back and like there's a lot there to dig into on that episode. But I was just I don't know. I I was impatient, I guess. Here what do you think of watching the credits in theaters? Everyone gets up and rushes out the door when the credits roll here. It pisses me off. Japan, everyone stays seated. Hedgy Great question. I always try to stay in my seat for a bit. I don't necessarily watch the all of the credits, but I do try to at least read some names in my brain to give credit to uh, to all the people that put their heart and soul into making a movie. Hubert saw Arrival this weekend, so good. Souls Retrieved, nice. So good. God, I love it. Yo, like 10 minutes ago, somebody said Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is underrated. Love and respect. Love and respect. How's everyone feeling about Alien Covenant? I'm excited. It's time. Four. The straw poll. It is time. Well, what is this new straw poll? This one covenant. Alien. I'm spelling. I'm spell, calling it alien C. <laughs> Yay. Nay. Covenant. Covenant. Cover. Covenant. Covenant. There's an A there. There it is.
Here we go. Alien C. Super Alien C. Strawpool is Alien Covenant. Choose one answer. Yay? Nay. For some reason, I put question marks on them. So the, the, the poll is Alien Covenant? Yay? Nay? <laughs> Pretty mixed. Pretty mixed. 60-40 for yay. That Alien Covenant hype. I'm pumped. Again. They've already got my money. They've already got it. What do I do? How do I win? There, there is no winning. There's no, you cannot lose when, when I'm involved. You will get my money because I will syndrome out and just pay. I will pay. They can make Alien 43. I'm in. I'm defeated and said that you got me. I'll be there opening night. Yep, Rickham, yep. Joe Town, what book? Let me know. I am defeated, Silent Constant. I'm defeated. I haven't watched Power Rangers yet. I want to take time for the daily tweet. Time for the daily tweet. This needs to happen. It's all I want. Tweeted Kyle Bossman, Power Rangers IMAX tomorrow. It needs to happen. Yo, has anybody been watching these Halo championships? God, these players are good. Crazy. Got a cosplay. Only way to see Rangers. <laughs> oh. Power Rangers IMAX. Is it even playing in the IMAX? Let me see. I hope so. Please, God. <laughs> Did somebody say Power Rangers in IMAX? I wonder who it was. Oh. You know, Tim Gettys loved it. And that's good enough for me. And you know, I'm 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 always praying Power Rangers has the potential to be a Lone Ranger Jupiter Ascending situation. Two movies I'm very fond of. Like I don't care. Stupid Beauty and the Beast taking the IMAX. How dare you, CGI beast. Give me a break. Give me a break, for pity's sake. I just want to see Morphin on the IMAX. Is that too hard to ask? Well. Whatever. I'll see it anyway. But can it beat Speed Racer? Probably not. Speed Racer, another one. You know? Speed Racer, Lone Ranger, Jupiter sending three movies that are critically and commercially panned. Three of my favorite movie going experiences of my life. Uh, and, I, and I saw those with friends. And all three times with those movies we came out, we all loved them. Saw Speed Racer with uh, Brad and a buddy. We loved it. Saw Jupiter Ascending with Dawn and Bossman. We loved it. Saw Lone Ranger with Brad. We loved it. Yeah, ask Brad about Lone Ranger. <laughs> Max hype. 
Dude, it, to sell Lone Ranger, all you have to say is a dude cuts out a guy's heart and eats it. And it's a Disney movie. Hard PG-13. Good stuff. Lone Ranger. Now, I have not seen any of those three movies more than once. So, if they hold up, I do not know. They were fun in the theater. <laughs> Bridge check. So good. Uh, I want to see the new Pirates, but I haven't seen the one before the one coming out. I never saw four. Oh my god, trailer score. I need trailer score. DT1000, I would love to do anything with Tim Geddes. Anything. I love the man. Yeah, Kyle, dude. Kyle. Come on, dude. Power Rangers. I need it. I need it so bad. I need it so bad. <laughs> Power Rangers with Kyle Bossman. That is like... That is such a dream. That is a dream. Yo, Pib1197. Just subscribe. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Like, I, I would feel bad, like, hogging Kyle for Power Rangers at the theater. Like, everyone should be able to do that. Kyle should take a year off and just be like, all right, my new job is to see Power Rangers with people. Like, let's go. <laughs> oh. I think he's pretty big on Power Rangers. <laughs> he would go insane. He would. He would. Power Rangers. <laughs> and he hasn't seen a movie this year. We need to fix that. <laughs> Poor Kyle having to watch Power Rangers like four times a day. 365 days. That's so good. I've not finished Steins Gate. It is... I'm, I'm ready. It was. It's just been a crazy two or three weeks. And I'm coming back to it. I'm so behind. I'm two back on the Americans. That's how behind I am right now. Two back on the Americans. So... Gotta get back to Steins Gate. All right, everyone, the uh, Q&A is coming up at noon. Um, that is going to do it. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast, you just made the list. Hog in the IMAX. <laughs> All right, everybody. Honor and a privilege. Talking Syndrome every week. I love you all so much and dearly. Um, it's my favorite. I love it so much, chat. We have the best conversations because it's just like, like it just moves so fast. It's on to the next, like bam, 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 bam. It's always something. And it's usually something that we're all hyped about. So I just enjoy it so much. And uh, some of you, I will see you at noon for the Q&A. If not, um, I will see you... The schedule's not posted yet, but I will see you soon, uh, most likely Tuesday, for uh, the group stream. See you then, chat. Love you all. Love and respect. New ally, Grandamon, I'm still here. The difference, so hubris syndrome is a ran, like a random topic that I decide. Talking syndrome is usually talking about the episode. 
So I'll film an episode. Last week it was Logan. Today we talked about it briefly. We had talked about it before. That's why the conversation wasn't too long. Um, and this is live. Hubert Syndrome I record and edit and yeah. <laughs> Alright everyone. Wait. Splatoon 2? Is that today? Is Splatoon 2, 2 today? Oh my god, it's today. It's today. Oh my god. Oh my god, in 24 minutes. Oh my god. Splatoon! Splatoon, I gotta go.